Okay, let's discuss what I think is the absolute hands down best budget sailboat on the market today to get you on the water sooner than later in the most cost effective way possible. Now in the Lesser Antilles where I live, you could spend the next decade island hopping here and never see the same place twice. A lot of people get hung up on this blue water sailing crossing oceans, and that's great if that's what you really, really want to do. However, the majority of sailors wind up not doing that. The majority of sailors spend 95% of their time coastal cruising, island hopping, or in marinas, regardless of what kind of vessel that they have. Now, even if we turn on the old fancy YouTube and start looking at vloggers that happen to have a sailboat, most of them are doing the exact same thing. It's coastal cruising and island hopping with the occasional ocean crossing. Generally, once a year, one of these vloggers will cross the Atlantic, for instance, and that's about it. The rest of their time is always spent coastal cruising or island hopping. My point here being is that it is perfectly fine to only want to coastal cruise and island hop. There is nothing wrong with that. There is tons to see and you don't have to break the bank to do just that. There always seems to be this weird stigma on social media. The second you mention a vessel, some jabber mouth comes running in the comments. That's great for coastal cruising. Okay, cool, man. There's nothing wrong with coastal cruising or island hopping. Speaking of coastal cruising and island hopping, one of the absolute best ways that you can save money is to become an American Sailing Association member. With this membership, you get discounts to a variety of sailing related products from anchors to sails to sea tow. This membership will pay for itself in about three seconds. I have a discount code linked in the description below as well as in the comments. Instead of $59 for the year, it will only be $49 and it opens up all of these other discounts. Get yourself an American American Sailing Association membership and let me know all about it in the comments below. The 1999 to 2001 Hunter 290 is in my opinion the absolute best budget sailboat on the market right now hands down. With its wide beam of 10.9 inches, a very nice waterline, it's also able to offer two private staterooms and an actual navigation station plus a large head with a shower. It also has a full galley and comfortable salon. It also has eight opening hatches and ports, which are fantastic if you're going to be sailing anywhere warm like the Caribbean, the Bahamas, the Lesser Antilles. A giant huge benefit to this vessel is that you can actually trailer it. That opens up a world of possibilities as far as saving money when it comes to storage on the vessel. Coming in with a length of the waterline of 26.92, a length overall of 28.58, and a beam of 10.75. This vessel is enormous for its size. Remember, we're talking a vessel that's less than 30 feet long, so your running costs are going to be incredibly low. When it comes to buying sales for this vessel, you might only end up paying $1,500 for sales versus $6,000 for sales. The same is going to be true when it comes to ground tackle. You're only going to need maybe two 25 pound mantis anchors versus two 45 pound mantis anchors. That's going to save you literally three or four thousand dollars alone just on anchors. When you get into vessels like this for budget cruising, these are phenomenal. Now, when it comes to livable space on this vessel, if you start doing some research, what you're going to notice is the length of the waterline of 29.83 feet is just as large as several of the mid 90s 35 footers. That is a fantastic LWL to have on a vessel this small. The Hunter 290 does have the BNR rig, which actually on a vessel this size increases its sailing performance. Without a backstay, it also opens up a lot of room in the cockpit. Now, a lot of people online will start talking about, oh my gosh, no backstay. Hello, catamarans don't have a backstay either.
You also have a couple of different options for your keel and your draft. You can go with a deeper draft or you can go with a shoal draft. Now, because the 290's beam does carry far to aft, it allows for an incredibly wide and comfortable cockpit. The combings on this vessel are very deep and angled just right, oddly enough, for proper back support, which is not really found on a lot of vessels. The combings are often at a funny angle and it really hurts your back on numerous vessels. Not this one. They did a fantastic job at the cockpit design on this one. It has the rest of your standard features, a furling headsail, self-tailing winches, bronze sea cocks. It does have a composite shaft rudder and an 18 horsepower diesel. Talk about fuel efficiency, 18 horsepowers. Is this a joke? I could literally run an 18 horsepower engine for days and never run out of gas. As always, the stern rail seats are the best in the house. Now, there are of course numerous other 30 footers on the market, however, for everything that I just pointed out, I really feel that the Hunter 290 is the absolute best budget sailboat under 30 feet on the market today. If a person's just looking to coastal cruise or island hop and do it in comfort, in my opinion, this hands down checks all of the boxes and is the best deal out there. These can currently be had on the market for less than $30,000. These are ready to go vessels, i.e. ready to coastal cruise or island hop. It was first built in 1999 and last built in 2002. So it was a very short run on the vessel. However, there are generally numerous ones available. Even in the current high market used sailboat conditions, these can still be had for less than $30,000 in the mainland United States of America. Now, if you can find one over in Europe, you'd probably get it for 22,000 as vessels are always less expensive expensive over there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this vessel. Is there something I missed? Is there a better inexpensive budget sailboat in this range for $30,000 or less on the market that I somehow didn't see? If so, let me know in the comments. Would you like to become a producer on Chasing Latitudes and help support the channel continue to put out videos? Well, I have a fantastic offer for you right now through the end of the month of February for a hundred dollar donation. At the end of every video, your name will be listed as a producer. You will also get one year access to my members area as well as a one hour one on one consultation. It's a fantastic way to support the channel as well as get a whole bunch of value for you and help you get on the water. A year access to the members area, you're listed as a producer and you get a one on one consult with me live to chat about any of your sailing needs. I will have the link in the description below if you would like to be a part of the crew and sign up for that. I would sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Now, if $100 is a little bit out of your budget, I do understand. However, you can sign up for Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access to our members area where I'm on there every single day to chit chat about anything sailing related that you might want to talk about. Also, please leave a comment down below. It really, really helps the algorithm. Hit like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.